All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another video and welcome to Blender. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this nice little blowing tree. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get right to it. All right, so I just have my tree model here. And uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is go and add a empty, an empty there. Uh, just a regular plane axis and then you're going to want to click that and then shift click um, so that you have the trunk of your tree selected control p and then offset that's um that's just to make it parented to the tree so if you move it it uh, it moves relative to the the trunk um so next you're going to go to your modifiers tab add modifier and add a displace modifier if i can find it Ah, there it is. So once you find it and you've assigned it, you're just going to click new. Rename your texture to something like TX uh, Texture Tree Wave or something like that. Uh, and change the coordinates to object. Click a little eyedropper and select the empty. Um, Alright, so that's the first part done. Now we have to actually make the texture. So you're going to go to the textures tab, change this one to wood. And um, that's basically just a wave, uh, a nice wave texture. And then select bands noise. Uh, next, you're going to want to drag the size up to something like 0.75. Uh, the turbulence, I would recommend putting down a little bit, depending on the size. Um, yeah, you know what? 5 is, is good for here. Um, and then we need to actually animate it, which is surprisingly easy and you actually don't have to use the timeline at all. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your empty. You're going to click on your uh, object transforms and go to the location Z and then put hash. So um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deriving this from the keyframes. So we're just going to put frame uh, and then that would be way too fast. Uh, we don't want it to be going one meter up, you know, 24 times a second so we're gonna do divided by and then some large number like uh, like say 50 um, and then that should be good uh, and there you go it's uh, it's actually done see it's uh, it's really that easy and it I think it gets a, uh, a pretty good result yeah it should still work even if you have um, like one um, let's you know say you use an, an icosphere which I know a lot of people do for you know certain um, you know, toony sort of uh, looks, and you can, you know, go something like that. Uh, I think if you had something like this, uh, it should also still work. Uh, it won't be as detailed, um, just because the resolution is very different on the object. Uh, I mean, you know, you can look at this, and you know, the displace has a ton of vertices to work with, uh, whereas this uh, it doesn't uh, as much. But um, you can fix that, um, you can add more vertices, uh, if you just add a subdivision surface modifier, and then change this to, uh, to simple, I think that should do the job, um, that does, yeah, yeah, so then, uh, if you do that, and then you just do the same thing with the modifier here, and there you go, it's, uh, a little too intense, but, uh, that can be fixed just by dropping, whoops, that's the wrong object. Just by dropping down this uh, this uh, strength value to something like 0.2, which uh, gets you definitely an interesting result. It uh, also looks like something, you know, maybe even a bit lower. Um, it also looks like something, you know, that's kind of bubbling over. But I guess if you're doing some sort of cauldron, you can use this method too. So yeah, if you uh, enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want some more content like this. Uh, or some content that is completely different. I do a bunch of stuff on the channel. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.